What's good, OBT? It's your boy OB back with another video, and we got a little bit of a little recap of what happened last night in Flight Stream. As you most of y'all seen, you know, him and Drea got into some ish over some dumb shit. Like, but, you know, that's the relationship, you know. Flight's a single man is what he's saying, but he has to go more into the story because low key, I, I had a feeling it was going to get crazy. And just after the fact of the stream got stopped, it was like, just, yo, did he go back? Like, what, what was going on? I had a feeling that, you know, Flight was going to be a man and, you know, be like, yo, this is how it's going to be, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, females, they don't have that kind of thing. And I don't know, bro. I feel like social media, like, had his own way and made it more out of hand than it was going to be because, you know, it's an adult relationship. So, like, most of the kids' input is, like, I don't know, bro. Like, I respect, you know, y'all teenagers, like, opinions, but, you know, this is grown people stuff. So, you know, you haven't been through life yet to experience these situations and know what to do in these situations. So, hopefully, y'all learn from this and, you know, pick your women wisely. But I'm not going to talk much in this video. Let's get into it. What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team stand up. Hey, man, you guys already know we got to still remain positive no matter what. Yes, sir. And just so you know, OBT, we fuck with the whole groups. We mess with FTC, RNG, YRG, RDC, all of them. We, I'm saying, hopefully we can all be like in a circle. Of all of us. That'd be amazing. That's a dream. <laughs> but let's get into it real quick. Oh, um, I'm not going to be pausing or talking this much because this is a long now, video. First off and foremost, man, I want to apologize sincerely Damn, my nose to my is FTC running. brothers and sisters um, for having an unexpectedly um, drama-filled Friday live stream, man, because that's the last thing I ever want to do, especially on Twitch. Um, it's bring drama or just be involved in drama, but it's just mm -hmm. something that... When you guys had seen it, um, seen a sneak peek of honestly what's been kind of going on this past like month, honestly almost going on to two months, you guys. Yeah. Um, second, this is literally my last relationship, last relationship. Every female is getting five to ten day contracts. You have one week. You have one week if you're lucky. Two weeks. You know what I'm saying? To enjoy your time. All right, man. Fight's a funny motherfucker, man. He. Yes, <laughs> and you're gone. Um, I just felt like at this point in my career, it's not. It's just I'm just being humble about shit. But you know, you, you just gotta say certain things, man. Like I'm just too bossed up and too much of a king to be giving no girl a relationship, or you know, what I'm saying dealing with no female, bro. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of these females just don't know how to act. I just feel like, in all honesty, and to be one thousand, you right, man. What I'm about to explain in this video, this is not even to bash uh, my ex girlfriend, um, which is now my ex girlfriend, obviously, in Andrea. Um, I first off, foremost, want to say to you guys that when I had posted the single uh, thing tweet the first time, 100% meant that I was literally being held hostage almost damn near for four plus hours since I had ended the stream. I think it was like what five or six o'clock. Uh, West Coast time. I was damn near being held hostage, uh, pretty much. If you guys are paying attention to the stream, um, honestly, let's let's backtrack a little bit. This all started out and honestly started from me reacting to my homeboy. Oh my goodness, um, ads. DDG, you know what I'm saying? That's Blazers fans, live stream select Blazers games with the NBC Sports Gold Blazers Pass. All you need. That's my dog. That's my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna support people who's been supporting me and always been good friends to me and a good homeboy. You know what I'm saying? Since day one. It's undeniable. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Straight up like that. So, you guys are gonna, you know, that don't watch live streams or anything like that. You're gonna be like, what? But, bro, I literally was reacting to his, you know what I'm saying? I was on um, the first song. It was, you know, the um, his first track of the album. Yeah, because when I came in, it was like midway through because I was at work. Like I said, I don't really have great service. But then I seen him tweet that he's single. So, I was like, what's going on? Like, what happened? So... He was still streaming, so I was like, okay, let's see what's going on. And um, his album cover, it's him. And you, know, you guys know, you know what I'm saying? Like, the album's number one right now. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing like you don't know, you know what I'm saying, about that D4R. You know what I'm saying? Um, but if you see an album, you know what I'm saying, which is nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with it. I'm not, like I said, that, that's my nigga. I'm not, not blaming him yeah, but, bro. or anything. I haven't even got to listen to DDG's album yet, but 
I, I have a feeling it's fire. From what I was hearing from Fleischstream, it was, it was sounding good. Um, but what it was is that he's in a picture. Hopefully, I can hear the rest and later. He has like four or five girls in bikini tops, not booty hole ass naked, not no top on. They're covering their nips and shish. Like it's just like they're just in their bikinis. And usually, what we had the agreement of, like you know, what I'm saying me and you know my ex Andrea. Um, anything that had to do with like looking at other people, we would, you know, have an agreement. We would just be like, you know, look away or try and click off the thing. And that's the courtesy I did. You know what I'm saying? I actually scrolled down to a point um, in my stream where you will be able to, you know what I'm saying, like see, you feel me, like um, just the title of the video. And I was on the comment part. And like two minutes later, I'm getting a text from. Yeah, bro. See, that's one thing with relationships. There's a lot of insecurities when it comes to like looking and all that jazz. It's like. Bruh, like, you know, there are people around. You're not just going to not look. Like, I'm saying you can look, but don't stare. That's my thing. Like, you can look whatever you want, whatever, but don't stare. Because then you just, that makes it look way worse than what it is. You know what I'm saying, Andrea, talking about, oh, this, I'm done. Um, you're always embarrassing me, this and that. You know what I'm saying? Just, like, extremely insecure-ass-ish, bro. And everybody that was on my live stream, you know what I'm saying, they'll see, you, you guys seen it and you understand and i also post that specific vod of that part where um i broke up with her and um she pulled up to my crib which she did mm -hmm. um and everything at the very end of the video you know what i'm saying but i'm i'm basically explaining the update of it because a lot of people were confused when i put the single tweet out so basically when i put the single tweet out after she was doing all that nonsense because i was just at my breaking point you know what i'm saying obviously this is not the first time she's done shit like that um, I'm not like I said. This is not a video to really bash Andre because at the end of the day, Andre is actually a really good woman. She has a good heart. She's just to be honest with you, really crazy and psycho. And I I'm saying, bro, this is what you get when you deal with one a 20 year old and one a Latina. A young Latina, you're gonna get crazy, bro. I'm, I just, I'm, like just, just I'm being real. Going on that she That's just facts. Explained or tried to take out on me or for whatever reason. Um, she never cheated or none of that stuff. She never, you know, honestly, never did none of that. The reason for, you know, breaking up and everything is be too psycho, manipulative, and controlling, bro. I'm yeah, bro. So, like, what people don't get is that you don't even have to, like, cheat or none of that in, in relationships. It's literally your personality can be what's it. Like, that plays a big part in anything, bro. Like, your personality is off or anything like that is off. Yeah, you're cut. Yeah. Too much of a boss ass nigga to be controlled by a woman. Exactly. Don't let nobody in control general. you. No. That goes for women too. Don't let no man control you, and women don't let. Yeah, don't women don't let no man control you, and dudes don't let no woman control you, ever. I'm saying too much nah. of a king, too much boss. If I work too hard, you're not gonna control my emotions. So, this hasn't been the first time. If some of you guys keep it true with y'all, watch my live streams often. Um, sometimes like I'd be on my phone sometimes, and I hate doing that, but. Sometimes, most of 90% of the time, those would be arguments because she would be on some insecure, like, just weird, weirdo-ish, bro. Like, with just the weirdest things. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's just basically what was, was the downfall of everything. So, basically, you know, I ended up breaking with, up with her on live stream, uh, made the single tweet and everything. Uh, she ends her live stream. I'm still live streaming. I was, I was not planning to stop whatsoever. Um, she ends her live stream and she pulls up on me. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm at my second crib. You know what I'm saying? Um, at the crib and everything. So she ends up pulling up on me, bro. Um, and she's at the door now. She's banging on the door like fucking like 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 straight like worse. Than yeah, worse, bro. Like, I remember I was, seeing like, this you, too. You you would have if you heard the banging, bro, bro. You would have thought that I had like seven bodies like somewhere in this damn crib right here. You know what I'm saying? Like it was just I did not like I could have ignored or not. Yeah, bro. She was on some FBI open up, open up you know type shit. So I call her first and she's basically saying that oh like. I'm on my cycle, which actually she was, but I'm, she just got off of it like this morning or some shit like that. Um, she lied and said she was on a cycle, she was bleeding or whatever. So, gentlemen react, you know what I'm saying? I gave her five minutes. So she also has like some of her stuff, but, like she has some of her Uggs here and like her, um, you know, just minor clothes and shit. So I was giving her an opportunity to get her shit, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't gonna um, try to show out and do something extra on the stream. Oh was, God. Like, voluntarily trying to mute it, but this is where shit turned left. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Everybody else on the stream. I don't gotta explain much, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm happy I had the cameras on. You know what I'm saying? So you'll see the shit in the VOD. Um, I ended up letting her in, being a nice guy I am, letting her in, because I'm thinking that she needs to put a tampon in and film me, because I'm thinking she's leaking, boom. Ends up lying about this shit, saying, oh, I'm not leaking. 
Yeah, bro. That's that's why when I was like in the chat, I was like, bro, don't let this girl in the house. Please don't let this girl in the house. But then. We're going to work this out. Hmm. Okay. So cool. Um, Females be I'm, lying, I'm man. Still in the stream. We can talk afterwards. You know what I'm saying? Even with me saying I'm going to talk afterwards, my attention is pure and solid and I'm not going to fucking fold. Like, you're single. Once I have to tweet or post something that I'm single on the internet, it has taken a lot out of me to do that. You know what I'm saying? I don't just get in one argument and just post single, this and that. I'm not a social media person when it comes to relationships. You know what I'm saying? So for me tweeting that, that's from more than five or eight different times of you just doing competitive, repetitive shit. And she knows she's in the wrong because not only did she apologize for the shit that she did today, she's been apologizing for shit back and forth, back and forth. And the thing is, is that she honestly showed improvement, but it will be something new every single time. Mm -hmm. All right, so fast forwarding on, she ends up coming to the kids' room. She comes to the kids' room while I'm streaming. I'm on like 2K, my team, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm trying to continue streaming, you know what I'm saying? Giving everybody top 10 entertainment, you know? Um, I'm trying to give contact uh, straight. Uh, blah, blah. Come on. Um, Get the words out, man. Come on, man. <laughs> lay up the ganja. I just forget my vocab word, man. Um, Three set. Entertainment. That word was even better. All right, so look. This fucking goofy, man. Um, and then she starts to kind of, I feel the hostility. You know what I'm saying? I feel the hostility. And mind you guys, like throughout this whole time, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga did not fall whatsoever, bro. No hands was put on her. None of that. She's literally baiting the dog shit out of me. Yeah, facts, bro. Just like, that's what be getting people in trouble, bro. Y'all get so baited in, like, by women, bro. That just shows how weak you are, bro. They want you to do something. So all those people in the chat that were saying, yo, call the cops, call the cops. No, she, that's the bait. Like, come on, bro. This is why, like, the kids in the chat, stop bringing, like, those kind of, like, comments in. Because if he calls the cops, she can say whatever they want and they're going to believe her. It don't matter if it's his house, her house. It don't matter. That's one thing that y'all kids don't understand about when it comes to police in a situation. That's why you try to handle your situation before police even get thought of. See, he's smart for not doing that. Put hands on her, bro. You know what I'm saying? She's saying shit like, oh, I'm about to turn off your stream. You know what I'm saying? She starts putting her hands on my equipment. Once you put your hands on my stuff, you honestly don't even have respect for me. You probably didn't even have respect for me for a minute. But the fact that you have the audacity to put your hands on the equipment that I slaved and worked my ass off for, you know what I'm saying, just shows how much respect that you have. So she ends up muddying my stream, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro, like, women just have no respect for your stuff if they're doing all that. And I'm telling you, bro, like, when you get a Latina mad, they don't care about nothing. They don't care about what's yours, what's not. They break shit. Just <laughs> I'm just telling you. Talk, okay? So I give her the opportunity to talk. <laughs> to me but then she's saying that no end this shit now she starts yelling at me when the shit's mudded muted whatever you want to call it you know what i'm saying mudded. and it's fucking you know what i'm saying one thing leads to another so i'm like bro fuck this i'm turning it i'm i'm nutting this and turning back on just in case you know what i'm saying so that's what i did you know what i'm saying like after seeing the chat seeing everything that's going on bro and i'll just like the thing that i'm just upset about man is just that i come here on friday on twitch live stream man and just entertain everybody and just give everybody a better life top tier entertainment everybody a better mm. life man and just forget about the house rediscover what the open road has to offer in a new mazda from south tacoma mazda responsive world bro but you know certain people just push you to another level bro um what else one thing leads to another Five minutes, ten minutes starts to go on, bro. She keeps threatening. I'm going to turn off your stream. I'm going to turn off your stream. I'm, I'm like, no, you're not. You're not going to touch my shit. So, like, this whole time, mind you, I don't have no hands on her. You guys should see the footage. No hands on her, none of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm just chilling, straight chilling, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what she wants me to do. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Six, eight, ten-figure nigga. A girl's going to want you to put hands on them so they can eat off that check for the next 20 yes, years. Yes, sir. You guys, Come on, man. You got to be smart in 2021, bro. You know what I'm saying? You guys got to realize that women have better rights than men. Right, man. I, like I just said to y'all before. You know what I'm saying? It's not, bro. Honestly, woman rights is what the the, the woman rights that they have over men, and, and and the way the tables are turned when it comes to women and everything is just honestly worse than racism. To be honest with you. you know okay, that's a little bit of a stretch. That's a little bit of a stretch. 
like the bit. fact that I just feel like women have more of an advantage to just get over on certain stuff, bro. It's it's just sickening, bro. Like you know, I, mean? I understand that point he's trying to make, but that's a little bit. A little bit of a stretch, but I can understand where the connection is. A little I'm bit. Saying because imagine if the roles were reversed. Not only at this point, she's trespassing. You know what I'm saying? She's yeah. trespassing. Legally, you know, yes. I let her in, you know, technically. She's still trespassing because I told her multiple times, like, respectfully leave. Mm -hmm. All this stuff. You're touching my stuff. Not even that. We're not even, like, halfway into the shit, bro. So five minutes go on, more minutes go on. She just turns off my live stream, bro. I had about, like... 40, 42, 45,000 viewers. Yes, bro, on a live stream. So not only, like, when she did that, it was just raps. It was, I was already raps before she even pulled up, bro. But the fact that she literally had the boldness to turn off another man's live stream that has that. And, and you guys know I'm not like a, 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 a view horror, that type of person, the mm -hmm. number stats and all that stuff, bro. But feel where I'm coming from. You know what I'm saying? Like, the amount of self-control like another man has like that's what people i feel like you need to give me credit upon this bro yeah you know i give you tons of credit bro and i was the one going into her house and not only that like she was just saying and other things like oh like in the stream right now so we can fuck trying to like you know what i'm saying like put aside the fact that what you just did you know what i'm saying this whole time you know basically you know i wouldn't because I feel like it's weak to say harassing and some shit. Like, I just feel like it's weak to say some shit like that. But you guys say whatever you say. But imagine if the roles was reversed and I was the one doing it. Bro, like, I'm, bro, it's instant jail fucking prison time, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy how women have so much more of an advantage and rights over men, bro. Like, whoever the fucking governor of, or mayor or even the president of the shit. Like, fix that shit, bro. Like, what the fuck is you in office for? What is yeah, man, let these women get held accountable, bro. That's my thing, bro, because, like, that be blowing me. When you see, like, men that get in trouble that don't do nothing because a woman said something, like, that's crazy, bro. That's insane. What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, you sitting there, you sitting up there worried about some other shit, bro, and when you need to be looking at some real political problems, bro. Let me run for president, bro. Real talk, but that's, bro, look. So she ends up ending my stream. I'm going to tell you guys, bro, everything, bro. You wouldn't even believe this shit, bro. This girl held me hostage for not one, not two, not three, not four, five fucking hours. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Look, he just teed up at it, bro. This is... Nah, but for real, if I had, like, 45,000 in my stream and you ended it, you better leave my site before, like, you get hurt. I'm, I'm saying that right now. Held the kid hostage for five hours. Not at no gunpoint, but waiting, like baiting point, if it mm -hmm. makes sense. She was at nah, a certain bro. point of baiting me to offer, hit her. Wasn't doing none of that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, she was doing shit as soon as the stream ended, bro. Non stop screaming, bro. Like just top of the lunch, screaming, screaming, screaming. Um, she had water bottles on her, bro. You know what I'm saying? I literally was catching and blocking them shits like the kid made me tumble from back in the day. Blocking all this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Saving my equipment, saving my setup, all that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Throwing shit, breaking shit on my floor. You feel me? It's just at this point when you do shit like this, bro, uh -oh. you don't have no more respect. We got blood. Uh-oh. Bro, you know, like I'm not, Wait, is I'm that... not gonna like... Yeah, that is blood. I don't care. Looks no like it. Working out shit or nothing. Um, so... Yeah, there's no coming back from that. Two hours go by, you know what I'm saying? And if you guys can see this footage right here, I'll pause myself. Delete it! Come out. Delete it. Delete what? Your stupid fucking tweet, bitch! But I don't want to be with you. Whoa, 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 bro. Latinas, man, they crazy, man. No more. No! Bro, she could have broke his door, didn't she? She's strong. <laughs> Bro, she's little and she's strong as hell. You see how much... Damn. Bro, stop hitting my shit. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm getting scared. I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm just getting scared. <laughs> Bro, she could literally break his door. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, look how much force is behind that shit. She ended up... I had one of my phones, my main phone. You know what I'm saying? on my counter and 
she was by my counter and basically took that bitch and ran in the bathroom, bro. And literally locked herself out. She ran in this bathroom. Picture this, bro. Ran into this bathroom, bro. You know what I'm saying? Girls run stupid fast when they got somebody's phone, by the way. Yes, bro. sir. You know what I'm saying? Should be a track star, by the way. Went into this bathroom, bro. You know what I'm saying? Locked herself out. Locked herself out, bro. And was big, pretty much she deleted the single tweet. You know what I'm saying? Dang. Uh, she put up some more tweets that I, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. Oh, yeah. I've like, seen those tweets. Oh, like, we do this all the time off the cameras, which is true. But I did not tweet that shit. Mm -hmm. um, and then she also fucking. Um, she, oh, yeah, bro. We all we, we see those tweets and all that on IG. We knew that wasn't she. She tweeted we some other shit. Uh, Saying, 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 saying that I love, you know, that I, I should have took screenshots. Shit. And honestly, like, which I did. Not anymore. You know what I'm saying? After that whole answer that you pulled off. You know what I'm saying? But she basically damn near, I wouldn't say hacked my shit, but damn near took my shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now, at that point, bro, <laughs> you just violating, bro, another man, like privacy, bro. Yeah, it's definitely. To, now it's time to step up. So after all that bullshit, she comes out the bathroom, gives me my phone back. Then she starts spazzing again. I'm thinking shit was done for. She was going to stop, bro. You know what I'm saying? Spazzing again, spazzing again, spazzing again. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then she keeps saying, like, oh, you need to post me on Instagram, this and that. And mind you, like, I already was going to be Ben Poster and all that stuff. This never was the issue. I actually already been Poster. You know what I'm saying? Um, but she basically just kept saying, post me. But, like, bro, I wish I had recorded certain parts of her screaming because you guys wouldn't even believe how like of a lunatic she is bro yeah bro um she basically just kept streaming posted 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 what do you know 20 minutes later fucking cops come yep this is where it goes bad when please get involved Uh oh, yeah, this is bad. This is not bad. This is not good at all. Oh, man. You know, the neighbors definitely called the police. What's up? I'm Jenny Del Pozo, and welcome to Glow. Glow offers yoga, meditation. Yeah, they definitely called the police. Definitely neighbors. <laughs> And that's what, bro, that's what women be getting shit fucked they up. They came like, to my door, come and they on. basically was just like, we got a noise complaint. Which exactly. Means that they can answer your crib or whatever. Exactly. The neighbors called. That's why females need to stop acting out like that. Because neighbors nosy as hell. Some shit like that. Boom, boom. Um, and so they came in. Um, first of all, they made me step outside of my own damn crib. Exactly. Which is weird as fuck. I feel like that my rights was low-key a little bit violated. I feel like. Because even though a neighbor says... I've heard that, like a neighbor can say some shit or whatever, but I don't know, man. You guys let me know what was, in, what, what was good. But I basically had to go outside of my crib, and then it was a woman cop, and I had recorded it to a point, and then I had stopped um, because she wasn't, the, the woman cop wasn't hostile. The, uh, the, honestly, both of them, all the, it was like three cops at my door, bro. None of them were really hostile. They were trying to figure out what the fuck was going on. So the fucking female uh, took me outside, like I said, it was integrating me, bro. Like integrating, holy shit! Oh my god, integrating. But not nah, flight, which you legally, no, you're that's your house. Your name is on that, bro. You don't have to step outside your house. Tell you can just told them and say, I live here. This is my place. You guys can get her out and you can talk to me. That's that's, that's simple. simple. She said she asked me like the same thing. Like I swear to you, like six times. Did you guys break anything? Did you guys put your hands on each other? What happened? And I gave her the same fucking answer five to six times. I said, I D K. I don't know. I said that shit five to six times. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And she ends up saying, um, oh, do you need her like removed from the crib or yes, whatever? Definitely. And I was just like, no, like nothing happened. I don't even know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? So that's the love that I have for her. I ended up doing that. Yeah, man. He protected her low key because she could have went to jail for the night. Not even like on charges or anything. If you wanted to file charges, you could have, but she could went to jail. Uh, she did the same thing damn near too. Um, and they just ended up both leaving. As soon as they ended up leaving, she gets to screaming again. She gets the 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 banging, throwing shit. Mind you, you know what I'm saying? When she's banging, throwing shit, she's throwing little shit like this chair. You know what I'm saying? Trash can, my bag around, um, banging, just banging, banging, banging after banging everywhere, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, and then it just got to a point I'm just like, bro, because like they basically <sighs> broke it down to me like I apparently had a noise complaint from the past before that was already on the record um, on this on the, in the place I'm at. And they basically said if I get another one or they had to have a cops come to the door, I'm going to get evicted. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So They can do I that. I had to play my cards right. That's so, why you need to get you a house, man. Get you a house. Like, I know you're searching for a house, man. Get you a house, like, ASAP. Bro, like, honestly, it was just like, fuck it. I'm going to just post this shit. Because what I was doing, I don't give a fuck, honestly, what anybody got to say. Some people are going to be like, flight, like, why didn't you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, step the game up. Why don't you slap the girl? Why don't you, why don't you beat that ass? Yeah. Trolls and kids say dumb shit like that. That's why you're sitting on the bleachers and unsuccessful in life, bro. I know how to finesse the situation. So basically what I was just doing from there on out was just honestly doing anything she damn near says so she can end up fucking leaving, bro. And what she did, uh, she ended up leaving two hours later. And also, mind you, the whole time, I'm literally asking her to, like, leave like 50 fucking times every two minutes like can you please leave can you please leave i'm keeping my distance like i'm posted up on the wall like i said like none of we, we ain't touch the girl we ain't do none of that shit you know what i'm saying i'm posted up on the wall because that's what she wants me to do she wants me to bait her to touch her and it's just not gonna happen you know what i'm saying so i'll just post up here um continuing to disrespect me saying wild ass shit not leaving my space you know what i'm saying um and then shit i say it's damn near 11 o'clock on a friday you guys do the math I ended the stream like, or my stream was ended actually. She yeah, around off. like, I, didn't end it. I think around my like seven. Was forcefully turned off like five, six o'clock, I want to say. I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to think because where was I? It was around like six o'clock, seven o'clock. Low I ball think. scale, bro, to 11. Imagine you being damn near held hostage, you know what I'm saying, to a woman that's not leaving your crib when you're asking them nicely, banging shit, taking your phone, tweeting out shit to not only make you look like, you know what I'm saying, like a weird for some weird, you know what I'm saying, some weird, um, you know, just in general, you guys know what I'm saying, you know, like, it's just, you can't force somebody to be in a relationship, ladies, mm. wake the fuck up, you can't, bro, you fucked up, you fumbled, you gotta get your life moving, you can't bully somebody into a relationship, why don't you guys understand that shit, like, she kept repeating, saying that, like, oh, like, I've never acted like this, like, you're the best guy that's ever came into my life like cool you still fumbled the bag i don't give a fuck about your sob stories bro so look honestly you guys that's basically what fucking happened bro it was just basically five four or five six hours of just non-stop streaming bro like non-stop to the top of the lunch streaming banging shit trying to avoid your shit getting fucking broken her taking my shit uh she's throwing my phone multiple times thank god my shit didn't crack and everything like that just you must got respect, a super bro. case and, on then you know, if you're shit ain't cracking bro. especially um, an single, iphone single 100 single uh last time you ever see me do a video like this we two bossed up we two kinged up um we're gonna bounce back like crazy from this you know what i'm saying i'm actually glad that she came into my life because that person was a fuel i needed to spark to where i'm su really supposed to be you know what i'm saying and i'm gonna let the word speak for myself you know what i'm saying uh fuck anybody that's doubted me you know what i'm saying um, yes, sir. And that's just how I'm coming, bro. You know what I'm saying? We don't, at this point, I've already was on that tip regardless. It's, she's just obviously was just, you know, another responsibility. But everything is 100% fully, 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 fully my focus on my daughter and my career. That was already the priority to begin with. Mm -hmm. But now it's up five times. You know what I'm saying? Harder, bro. Because go up 10. females just don't know how to act, bro. Um, like I said, the reason why... Um, I'm single and I have, you know, broke up with Andres because she's too manipulative. She's too crazy. I also feel like it's the birth control that's doing it. She got on the birth control like in January and she honestly hasn't been the same. When I first met her, you know what I'm saying, a lot more different. And honestly, you guys, there's so much other shit that she's did and so much other tea. But I'm just breaking down just the basics, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I didn't want to do this video to really like get on her or bash her because she's a good girl. She yeah. never cheated on me. And, my, and, and, and in fact, she probably was like one of the most loyal women that I've probably ever been with in my life. She's definitely loyal. She never cheated on me. She had her spurts of treating me right, but honestly, I feel like shit was just going too much left, and I just, I just feel like it's just best to end it before. Yeah, I can see that, bro. Like, you know, she's a good chick. Yeah, but she's just out of control, like mentally, personally. That or shit, you shoot. know what I'm saying, goes way to a point where I can't dig myself out the hole, man. So. FTC, man, all I ask you guys 
It's for continued support. Thank you for the continued support like you guys have been doing over the years, man. Um, if you see me a little bit, I'm not going to be down. Like, usually we always recover like this within the fucking first day. But, like, if you see me react or you see me on stream and you see me, like, have, like, a two-minute point where I feel a little down, I'm good, everybody. Like, trust me. Like, I'm good. Like, I'm not a robot. I'm human at the end of the day. Obviously, I'm going to be thinking about that shit. But we're going to get over this shit, man. We're going to really, you know what I'm saying, blow the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? And, look, not to be on no cocky shit, man, but really, if you, if you say you fuck me, man, you, about to, you might as well start really, really fucking with the kid, man, because we really about to go up and go mainstream, mm -hmm. bro. I put that on everything, bro. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Continue. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, gentlemen, one last thing. You guys are the prize. You hear this shit right here? Clip this shit, and I want you to put this shit in your camera roll, and I want you to wake up to this shit every fucking day, and I promise you, you will be a fucking millionaire. Remember, gentlemen, you are what a woman needs. It's not the other way around. That's the quote of the decade right there. <laughs> hey, quote 2021, man. <laughs> I'm dead. Remember, gentlemen, once again, you are the king. Stop letting women, especially that are lower than you, you know what I'm saying, manipulate you, control you, know your worth. Yes, as sir. soon as you feel like your emotions is off tacking out of, you know what I'm saying, sink, bro, drop that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, it's the last time I've been in a relationship. If you guys see me with like a girl or anything, just know they're on a five to ten day contract. Real talk, five to ten day contract. Mm -hmm. No extensions, no bonuses being signed or none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? FTC, stay standing up. You know what I'm saying? Let's motherfucking carry the rest of the motherfucking 2021. You know what I'm saying? Right up on our fucking back, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to bounce back harder. FTC, stay standing up. You guys are amazing. FTC brothers and sisters, remember... You are the king. That person that you're dating right now needs you more than you need them. Hey. All right, man. Um, that's going. That's really going to do it for this video. I think I might watch the rest and do a part two if you guys want to see that. But hey, man, Fly was speaking some real gems. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Remember that, you know, don't let nobody manipulate you into something. You are in control of your own destiny. All right, you don't need nobody but you to be happy. It would be nice to have somebody, of course, but you don't need that. Just stay true, stay real, and that's all I'll do. But I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.